the NFL to Hollywood to fatherhood. Join me as I tackle my next journey in life, becoming Hollywood's next action star. Leg day. In here getting after it. My wife's in here with me. We're just hanging, so I'm multitasking. You can see her from behind here, but uh, you better not look at her behind. You hear? Oh, dude, that was off the dome, too. That was sweet. Um, she's getting nuggets like that all day, dude. She's so blessed. So um, <clears throat> I already warmed up, did 10 minutes of backwards walk, uh, did some knees over toes exercises, got a bunch of blood flow into the quads because my knees aggravate me a little more than usual today. So on days like that, when you got a bum uh, joint, you want to get as much blood flow into the area as you can and uh, before you go stress it in other ways. But I'm going to jump right into a working set here where I am uh, supersetting jumps. So I'm going to do a, a, a series of five immediate jumps. As soon as I hit the ground, it's like it's lava. Boom, pop back up, pop back up. It's uh, kind of rhythmic. You'll see that in a second here. Um, and then I'm going to go into some Bulgarian split squats. Uh, it's set up back here, but I forgot to put the weights on. So I'm going to do that real quick and then let's get to it. The bus is passing my house right now and it gives me anxiety every time. It takes me back to junior high or elementary school where a girl could say one comment and you're uh, toast for the rest of the day. You can just go in the tank. She was not that girl. And that's why I got the best thing that ever came out of Granite Bay, California, right here. Shit. And can you tell the people the first thing I ever did when I saw you? Shook my hand. <laughs> <laughs> and I wasn't even a handshaker. I just didn't know what to do. It was a pretty girl in front of me, and I, I freaked out, and I shook her hand. And she was so nice, and I knew it was awkward immediately. And that's when I knew she was a really nice girl, because she didn't tease me at all or even make any sort of face. Even though she, I knew she recognized, that was strange. Uh, she shook my hand, gave me a nice firm handshake, looked me in the eyes. And I was like, okay, this is great. We ended the conversation with a hug before class. Do you remember that part? No. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I'm fabricating it. I don't know. I, th I thought I remembered that. Or it was either that or the very next time that we saw each other, we hugged. Oh, okay. I think it was the next And then the, the time right after that, you stuck your tongue in my mouth. Yeah, right. I also already hit the calves, which may not, now that I'm feeling it, have been the smartest thing to do before some explosive jumps. Maybe a little harder to get off the ground and get out of the mud, but we're still going to do it. We'll get there. So you're going to jump, tuck your knees at the top. As soon as you hit the ground, come back right back into it. Thank you. Thank you. And then on these Bulgarians, I'm focused purely on moving the weight as fast as I can from the bottom. I'm lowering slowly, pausing for a second to eliminate any sort of momentum, and then fire up from, from no, no momentum. This is great for change of direction, explosiveness. <coughs> you're almost like you're trying to jump from the bottom position. Ah! Control down, pause, ah. everything you got. Ah. Ooh. Ah. 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 Um, as you can see today, I'm so perfectly color coordinated, which isn't usually my go-to, but my mom, um, enjoys sending me large uh, packages of clothes, which is awesome. And these ones are really nice. Uh, they're they're a, co a company called Brady, which I don't know if it's Tom Brady's company, but uh, if so, even more awesome. You know, I'm wearing uh, uh, some, some goat clothes. I uh, almost picked off Tom Brady one time. He threw it almost right to me and I dropped it. It's, so it's, yeah, a company called Brady, and they're, they're really good. And um, again, I don't usually color coordinate this well, but w when it's free and it's sent to me, I'll wear it as it's packaged, you know? So holler, holler at your boy. Or hell, holler at my mom. Don't you dare <laughs> holler at my mom, dude. Uh, I don't always match, but when I do, my mom bought it for me. Set two. 
kept inching forward on that last set to where that's the uh, garage door, so I gotta make sure I stay away from that. Hey, our arms may go flying, so you better watch out, miss. No, I'm just kidding, I'm not really gonna. Here we go. I don't know if you can see, I lost rhythm there for a couple of the reps. Got it back on that very last rep. Whole point of that is to get off the ground as quick as you can and try to get as high as you possibly can. And the whole point of me talking right now is to delay me having to go over here to the, do, the, do this set. There was a, looked like a boyfriend picking up his girlfriend on a motorbike. Yeah, you don't see that anymore. You know, good for them. They're gonna go to the top of some hill. Motorbikes. That's how they say it in the south. Wait, is that the motorcycle? Yeah, yeah motorcycle. <laughs> you know what everyone's thinking uh, online? Damn, girl, the back of your head is ridiculous. With that high blonde pony. Yeah. Damn, damn. Ooh. 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 Ah. Ah. put the microphone by my knee on the next set. Ooh. Sounds like somebody's crunching a Cheetos bag in there. Yeah. <laughs> uno mas for the solamente, uno times for one more time. Mm -hmm. ooh, 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 ooh. Woo! It's getting up there though. Oh no, here comes the school bus again. Great, all their windows are up, even if they are shouting obscenities at me. It's not gonna hurt. Okay. Donna Burris with the wind, though, sending me this care package. I'm feeling like a brand new dude. I'm gonna be coming through all sorts of fresh for this. My neighbors, they saw me dance. They pretended not to look, so I waved, made it weird. Oh, yeah, I know how to do that. And I don't even control it, it just happens. It's it weird. All right. Ah. Ah. Sit on those three of each. Now I'm gonna go into another super set of barbell RDLs, Romanian deadlifts, with walking lunges. And we're out of here. By the way, fun fact of the day: a superset is actually when you combine two exercises that are opposite of each other, antagonist muscles. So, for example, a bench press with a bent over row. That is a superset. A lot of people call a superset like combining bench press with flies. That's the same muscle group, so really that's a, called a power set. At least I, I think that that's right. Maybe it's backwards. So you learn something new every day. Or you just got dumber, uh, whichever one's right. Another fun fact of the day, my BO is kicking today which uh, I looked at the shirt and it's 100% polyester. So the fun fact is that you stink more in polyester. Like if you have a tendency and a propensity to stink, you're gonna stink worse, so. Mortal Kombat!
Ding, 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 ding. No, that's a different song. It's very similar to Mortal Kombat, though. Maybe, maybe Mortal Kombat had a copyright infringement. I was thinking the. You know, similar enough to talk about. That's for certain. Similar enough to get mortally wounded over. Tell you what, stealing a beats. Those are fighting words. Those are fighting actions. And um, I won't stand for it, dude. My beats are mine, dog. I've never made one, but when I do, better believe somebody's getting similar deal here to the Bulgarian split squats. I'm going to just try to move the weight fast, probably go around five reps on this, though I could do more. I may go heavier on the following sets, but I'm going to have to just vibe out how it feels, how it's moving. And then I'll go straight in from this to walking lunges, dumbbell. <clears throat> Wow, hit the landmine. Ah. Step out further with that next time. All right, I'm gonna reposition the camera. Do these walking lunges. Right. <clears throat> Since I last pushed play, I've loaded up the bar a little more and stank through my t-shirt. So we're going to give 365 a run again, probably for about five. Just focus on good form. I haven't loaded this much on it for some time, so I'm not trying to blow it out of the water. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Hmm. one felt good enough to move up a little bit I just want to it's just one of those days I just want to touch heavier weights a little bit just a little bit you know mm. Uh, more strenuous than I wanted it to be. But strain builds character, right? Just kidding. Kind of felt like that was going to happen for a minute, though. All right, that's it. Finito. I'm not going to do another set of walking lunges because I already sat down and had forgotten about doing those prior to sitting down. And also don't want to do them and feel like I earned the right to skip them because of that 405 set. So... That's, uh, that's where I'm at. Good friend of mine, Chad Wesley Smith, has told me in the past, if you hit a PR in the gym some days, you just leave after that because you've already given your body the appropriate stimulus with a weight you've never touched before, heavier than it's ever touched to create growth. 
and it's uh, really taxing on the body. So let it breathe, go recover. And uh, although that's not a PR for me, um, it is for right now because I'm building strength back. So this is my new kind of PR-ish. I used to do sets of four or five, I think sets of eight. I'd do like three sets of eight in a workout. Feeling good. Stacking this consistency, compounding this, this work, leading to growth. Um, yeah, just feels good to get after it a little bit. Feels good to touch some heavy weights, stress my body. This makes, makes you feel better all around, not just the endorphins, but even the idea of knowing, okay, I'm on the path to improving. I'm on the path to getting better in all areas of my life, not just physically, but because of the mindset that the weight room is giving me, I know that I'm willing to endure pain. I do it in here. And how you do one thing is how you do everything. So you'll do it in every other area of your life. So go get after it. Keep doing the hard things that you know you have to do and you should do that are going to make your life go this way, that are uh, substantial, that are meaningful, that matter to you. And like when you push in on those, the rest of the day feels like a cherry on top. God bless you.